Next up, we've got Vegas and Minnesota, 7-8 on the rotation. We've got the Minnesota Wild as, I don't know, laying this. The, how many times do we have to see Minnesota? Can we, do we have to put Minnesota out there as a minus 165 favorite every game at home? Do we have to do that? I mean, holy goodness, every freaking game. And you look at the way they're playing right now. It just drives you nuts. Uh, what what's Is the XL Energy Centers the uh, you know, freaking haunted house for the league or something? Come on here. What's going on? I mean, Minnesota minus 165 here at home. Uh, the total five and a half. Uh, actually, more sixes across the board shaded to the under in this game. Uh, six under minus 125. Look, I know Vegas on the road is not what they are at home. I know Vegas did not have one of their better games, and that's putting it mildly the other night against Dallas, getting shut out by the Stars, and maybe there's going to be a reversal of fortune coming for the Golden Knights and uh, in the next few, few weeks as the schedule gets tough, and they've got a tough schedule coming up, no question, but are the Minnesota Wild confident enough, playing well enough to trust them in this kind of price range on home ice, even though Bruce Boudreaux called them out you know, for a, for a bad loss against the uh, Winnipeg Jets the other night. And it was horrific. I mean, that team completely flat out just mailed it in after they fell behind against the Jets the other night. Okay, if there is a spot that you have to assume Minnesota shows you as something, shows you an A game, shows you their absolute best foot forward and best effort, you would think it's going to be here. I'm not laying minus 165 to figure that one out, though. Not even close. Uh, sure, they might show up. Sure, maybe they're going to put forth finally. A complete 60-minute effort, which Bruce Boudreaux has been hounding this team to do. Uh, but I'm not laying this kind of price in any way, shape, or form to find that out. Uh, not even maybe. Uh, so for me, at this price point, actually, it would be Vegas or pass. I know Alex B. Smith's involved with his uh, with his Minnesota Wild. He's right there, ear to the ground when it comes to the Wild living in Minnesota. Uh, he might be at this game, too, tonight, from what he told me earlier. Vegas, Minnesota. Alex B. Smith, what you looking at here? Yeah, I might go. I mean, there's some good games to watch on TV tonight, too, but I might might attend this one live, possibly. But, yeah, you look at this, you know, I don't understand. Uh, I'm in the same boat as you, I, Ian. I don't understand where the books get off still having the Wild as a $1.50, $1.60, $1.70 or higher favorite at home. He said uh, XL Energy Center is certainly not a house of horrors for, for a lot of teams that come in. Uh, you know, yes, it's usually always a, a near sold-out crowd. I think tonight might be a little different because they're playing – uh, the, you know, the expansion team in, in Vegas. So you know, there's be a lot of idiots that will be there saying, oh, you know, I forgot Vegas got a team this year. So that, with that being said, it's not going to be a super rowdy or raucous crowd like normal, it's not like, like a Chicago or Nashville coming into town. And I think that's going to help with Vegas. I think that's probably why we're seeing them do pretty, you know, like I said, fairly well, at least in the Western Conference against, uh, you know, teams on the road. They've won five of the last six against the West. They've won 12 of the last 14 overall within the conference. So uh, like I said, yeah, Minnesota, you expect them to, to bounce back after a horrible outing against the division team here, but this seems to be like possibly a, a bit of a could be a, a bit of a letdown as well because of the fact that they're not playing one of their rivals. It, it seems like they play down the teams that they need to play up for, even though we're talking about a team that leads the Pacific Division. So it, where their mindset comes, it, we'll see it within the first 10, 15, 20 minutes of, in, you know, of this game. But like you said, at this price, the only way I'm looking at this would be Las Vegas. Yeah, Vegas Golden Knights looking to. Uh bounce back themselves. I mean, everybody's talking about, oh, it's a huge bounce back spot for Minnesota. It's a bounce back spot for Vegas, too. Let's not forget what happened to them in their last game. So let's calm down here with, oh, Minnesota bounce back time after getting throttled in Winnipeg the other night. It's bounce back for Vegas, too. And if you ask me, uh, Gerard Gallant teams are teams I want it back coming off a, a loss like that. So we'll see. At this price, it's Vegas or nothing. I'm actually not personally going to get involved because Again, Vegas has not been quite as good on, on the road, obviously, at home. We know Minnesota, if they're going to show you something, you would think it's tonight after that debacle in Winnipeg. But again, that price is, no, not even close to getting me interested in the Minnesota wild side uh, in that game. Take a walk on the Minnesota wild side. I'm not doing that tonight. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.